The Swedish JAS-39 Gripen fighter resembles that vehicle you purchase for the economy, eco-friendliness, and unwavering quality. It is an unlikely treasure among different warplanes and is fighting at a surprisingly high level in the product market. Various nations fly the Saab JAS-39. Presently, the Swedish Ministry of Defense has upgrades available for the fighter. The Gripen is getting a unique launch system for its rockets and refreshed pods for electronic warfare. This shows the Swedish government is not joking around about modernizing the JAS-39. In this video, we will discuss how the JAS-39 Gripen has got some new upgrades, so let's get started. A quick history of the JAS-39 Gripen The Saab JAS-39 Gripen is a light, single-motor, multi-role warrior airplane made by the Swedish Aviation and Protection Organization, Saab AB. The Gripen has a delta wing and canard arrangement with a casual steadiness plan and fly-by-wire flight controls. Later airplanes are completely NATO interoperable. Starting around 2020, in excess of 271 Gripens have been assembled. In 1979, the Swedish government started advancing studies for airplanes fit for contender, assault, and observation missions to supplant the Saab 35 Draken and 37 Viggen in the Swedish Air Force. Another plan from Saab was chosen and created as the JAS-39. The first flight occurred in 1988 with the conveyance of the main sequential creation plane in 1993. It entered service with the Swedish Air Force in 1996. Redesigned variations, including developed flying and transformations for longer mission times, started entering service in 2003. To showcase the airplane universally, Saab framed associations and cooperative endeavors with the broad aviation organizations. On the commodity market, early models of the Gripen made moderate progress, with deals to countries in Central Europe, South Africa, and Southeast Asia. Bribery was suspected in a portion of these acquirements, however, Swedish specialists shut the examination in 2009. A significant revamp of the Gripen series recently alluded to as Gripen NG Next Generation or Super JAS, presently assigned JAS 39 EF Gripen started conveyances to the Swedish and Brazilian Air Forces in 2019. The progressions from the C series to E series incorporate a bigger fuselage and all the more remarkable motor, an expanded weapons payload capacity, a new cockpit, flying engineering and electronic fighting framework, and different enhancements. Why has it been a threat to Russia? Sweden had Cold War worries about Russia and developed its own aviation-based armed forces. The outcome was the JAS-39 Gripen. Of all the aviation monsters, Sweden's Saab AB has followed may be the most outlandish way. In a time when current warriors are normally planned by a consortium of firms from an assortment of states, Sweden has figured out how to create a contender equipped for rivaling any product on the market. The JAS-39 Gripen currently serves in about six flying corps and stays cutthroat in the offering to serve in 12 more. A summary of the upgrade request by FMV to Saab The Swedish Defense Materiel Administration FMV, has submitted a request with Saab to give upkeep administrations to the JAS-39 Gripen CD contender airplane. The all-out worth of the request is assessed to be $52 million. The arrangement will see Saab give capacity enhancements to the airplane to keep up with its functional pertinence until the mid-2030s, as well as practical answers to assisting with supporting the airplane for a more extended period. The reason for the request is to help the extensive review embraced by the Swedish Armed Forces and FMV in 2021. FMV Aviation Equipment Head Ingela Mattiasen said, We are submitting this request to start work to get the Swedish Armed Forces requirement for proceeding with high ability and accessibility for JAS-39 CD until the mid-2030s. As per FMV, the new request is for beginning work, which will be trailed by other extra orders on a continuous premise this year. The Gripen CD is a multi-job light warrior airplane fit for directing wide scope of missions including aerial, air-to-surface, and observation. Saab Aeronautics Business Region Head Jonas Helm said, Gripen CD is the foundation of the Swedish Armed Forces today and will keep on being for a long time to come. So here we will guarantee the proceeded with activity and functional pertinence of Gripen CD. Prior to December 2021, FMV granted an agreement to Saab to convey new Gripen E hardware. The new Gripen E Fly is a high level variation of the Gripen CD airplane. The upgrades. A stronger engine increases operational capabilities. The Siripin engine is around 20% more powerful than the engine used in current versions. Practically speaking, this represents an additional thrust of 17,000 newtons or 4,000 pounds. This increased thrust provides several advantages. The aircraft can carry an additional weapon load of 15 tons and one more ton of fuel inside the aircraft. 
The aircraft can accelerate faster, a crucial feature in a combat zone. The aircraft can turn more quickly without losing speed. A combination of engine strength and aircraft design enables Gripen to fly at supersonic speed without the use of the afterburner. This is called supercruise, which means in practical terms that less fuel is used and Gripen can remain longer in the air. Among other things, faster acceleration provides an advantage when Gripen is used in air defense missions that require reaching the airborne targets with all possible speeds for identification and, where needed, combat. Having the greatest possible thrust and acceleration is a major advantage in air-to-air -air combat situations that can arise when a target is engaged, or in cases where Gripen risks ending up at a disadvantage vis-a-vis -vis an enemy. If the Gripen is flying in an area heavily defended by an opponent, high energy performance is one of the prerequisites for successfully performing the mission. Greater fuel capacity for more time in the air. The capacity to carry a greater load increases Gripen's combat capability. With more air-to-air -air missiles, the aircraft can engage more targets. With greater load capacity, Gripen can remain longer in the air. Extra long action time is required, for example, for long surveillance flights to defend a no-fly zone. In these cases, fuel can be carried in extra tanks hung on the aircraft's exterior. New radar provides a wider field of view and improved situational awareness. Combat aircraft use radar to detect targets in the air, on the ground, and at sea. Today's Gripen CD is equipped with traditional radar that uses an antenna to scan all or parts of the search area in various patterns. The radar collects information in the area covered in the direction that the antenna replaces conventional buttons and knobs. An AESA radar, based on the latest radar technology, is located in the nose of Gripen JAS-39. In conjunction with a rotatable platform, the radar can see plus and minus 100 degrees to the sides, both horizontally and vertically enabling the pilot to have a wider view in multiple directions. Modern Avionics – Aviation Electronics The Gripen EF avionics system is designed pursuant to the split avionics principle, meaning that the part of the system linked to fighting safety performance is separated from the tactical part. Users can therefore create their own tactical applications adapted to specific needs. With split avionics, test phases following various upgrades are less extensive, which reduces costs and means that innovations can be introduced more quickly. The network provides an informational advantage. For a pilot of modern fighter aircraft, the focus is not so much on controlling the aircraft as on utilizing its tactical capability. To carry out successful missions, the pilot needs to have an optimal informational advantage to be able to make lightning-fast decisions. Gripen is therefore also part of a network comprised of other aircraft, vessels, radar stations, and ground units. In Gripen's cockpit, all information about the flight is presented on display screens. Designed for easy handling Gripen is designed to be adaptable in different respects. A high proportion of software is advantageous since this allows upgrades to be made as the need arises without requiring major, expensive physical reconstruction of the aircraft. Upgrading Gripen software can be likened to upgrading a personal computer. Gripen is field-ready in the military language. This means that Gripen is a fighter designed to be based anywhere, from well-equipped air bases to simple bases on paved roads. The Gripen can fly in challenged skies in different jobs and has Saab's commitment to keeping up with its capacities. That's all for today. Thanks and goodbye.